recording. You're on YouTube, dude. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Ruben, the Crazy Soccer Dad. This is Joseph. Say hi, Joseph. Hello. So, we just watched the United States men's national team. We love the World Cup. I love the World Cup. We're going to give you our thoughts on it. So, let's talk about World Cup. So, let's obviously, we need to know what's going on. Well, Joseph, what did you think about the World Cup men's game? Um, I think it was a very good game for the first half. The, definitely the United States was controlling the first half, and then we started lacking in the second half. But it's always hard to keep a good things going, you know? I, I was I was happy with the first half because we dominated possession. But I got to be honest, the referee was pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't the best even ref. I, I didn't think the referee had a very good game. And I have to call out this guy because this guy, yeah, he was pissing me off too. Stu Holden. Stu Holden can suck it. How many times did he, like, brag about how awesome Gareth Bale is? He must have said Gareth Bale 500 times. Like, didn't this guy play for the national team? Like, come on, we're United States. Like, okay, you've got Gareth Bale. You, where where does Pulisic play? Oh, that's right, he plays at Chelsea. Like, come on, man. Like, where are you, Stu Holden? You can suck a lemon. If you're not going to be a U.S. fan, like, don't commentate our games. Like, you guys talk too much as it is. So far on our Twitter poll, you guys are rated as annoying. I'm not real happy with you guys. Pick it up. Stu Holden. Not whatever. I don't like you. <laughs> Called a bad game. As far as I knew, your lips were on Gareth Bale's butt. Kissing him. We're the U.S., man. Come on. Show a little. He Try to be impartial. Pulse of place for or Chelsea and or Gareth Bale here is playing at LAFC. Like, I love LAFC. We're close to them. But I'm pretty sure there's a big difference between Chelsea and LAFC. Like, let, let's be honest. Like, they're the world's worst. <laughs> they play at different levels. Come on. Like, we have our players playing all over the place. Did you talk about anything about how special that is? No. You tried to talk about, oh, Gareth Bale can do this. Gareth Bale. He got fouled and got a PK. That was pretty much it. How many times did he turn the ball over, Stu Holden? Suck it. All right, let's go back onto the game because that's more important than telling Stu Holden to suck it. All right, so, oh wait, wrong one. There we go. So here, here's what I was thinking. I was thinking we dominated the first half and it was awesome. Yes. Made me happy. Yeah. You can even see my reaction. We're going to film, film that for you guys. But hey, you know, like, the only thing I was disappointed with overall for the U.S. was the number of direct shots on goal. Yeah, they had too many crosses. And every time their center, they... Didn't, I don't think they exactly had a very tall person in the top until they subbed on um, Costa, was it? Costa? I think it was Costa, yeah. They subbed mm -hmm. on Costa. Yeah, you, you know the names better than probably, I do. Probably the only tall guy that they had on the pitch yeah, at the end of the game, but because they didn't have very many like shots on target, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see, I haven't seen the stats for this, but. United States didn't have a lot of direct shots on frame. The few times that they did, that's where Timothy Wade's goal came from. It was direct shot on frame, nice interior run. Um, you know, hold, hold up play from the nine. What was that guy's name? The redheaded kid. Uh, uh, Sergeant. Yeah, Sergeant. That's Sergeant right. hoiled it up, gave a chance for Pulisic to get through. We're going at their heart. We didn't go wide and serve it because our services, they didn't. They weren't there today. They didn't produce enough, right? Yeah. And that and that was that was frustrating that we didn't get enough off of crosses. Yes. Yeah. And then it is like I think Pulisic destroyed that guy on the set on the outside. Uh -huh. He had a great time. Pulisic got ripped down every time he made the goal. And yeah, back to the referee. Like he got kicked every time he did anything. And the referee called it very. He called Pulisic almost just a yellow card for being like too talking too much or something. It's just stupid. Yeah, that referee was real, real bad. So that referee, he also can suck it. You and Stu Holden can both suck it, ref. Um, but what I'd like to talk about more is not only our direct shots, but like our just in the second half, we didn't manage to maintain the rhythm we needed. Yeah, like in the first half, they had their center backs camping out at halfway. Not. Yeah, we got a great possession. Uh -huh. 
Not enough final third end product. And then yeah, and then like they they whenever they lose it is back within three seconds. So that was Pep's Barcelona rule. Yeah, we we pre we did press right away. Yeah. I thought the subs were good. They brought in good energy. May yeah. maybe a little bit sooner. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Like instead of seventy seventeen seventieth minute. So they did have like technically like <laughs> next, yeah, like, a ton of added time, right? I, I, like an extra half in total. Like. Yeah, there's there's a ton of added time. I think that it would have been nice had the subs come in sooner to bring more of that energy back because yeah. it seems like we had a dip in because the rhythm possession kind of fell apart after the second round. All right, I think uh, Wales came out to try and get get a goal to change the outcome. You know? Yeah, and uh, you know, like their goal. It wasn't. It like, was just. It was, it was stupid. Just, it was yeah. a stupid foul. Yeah, stupid. stupid. Like, <sighs> you know, like he's it's going backwards. Why foul him? Yeah. Make him go backwards. We don't it's care. Turned over the ball all day. So, what's he gonna do? Yeah, I didn't think there was any reason to tackle. No. That far in our defense, like in our box, there was. There's no reason he was in, going backwards. Uh, and let's be honest, Stu Holden. Gareth Bale was always going to make it. How many times did Gareth Bale actually connect? What was his final product? Yeah, he got a PK and he got a foul. But did he really change much of the game? Mm, yeah, what? Um, anything else we want to mention? Um, I think maybe just a little bit less stupidity in the midfield third. Like a couple of times they could have connected sooner. Other than that, I don't really, th I don't really think that was a big one. But against the tougher teams, like for example, England on Friday, either from Friday, Friday, Black Friday. You know why? Because it's England is going down. It's going to be their Black Day of sales because we're all going to buy U.S. gear because we're going to win. Yeah. So be there for that. But like otherwise, I think that teams like England is going to capitalize on the mistakes in the midfield third to so clean that up a little bit. And you're perfectly on. Okay, I guess. Well, you know, the reality is, is like we're probably the underdogs big time against England, right? Yeah, but like, come on, we gotta win. All we gotta do is, a, I think, for England, just run at Harry Maguire. Harry run at Maguire. Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire is very slow. Run at Harry Maguire. He's slow. Come on, US. We're hoping for you boys. We have very fast. <laughs> Unlike Stu Holden, we want you to do well. We don't care who's on the other team, like Rashford, Holt, Phil Bowden. Like I don't care. You okay. U.S. boys are, like, we're pulling for you. Yeah. Like, that's all I want to see. Like, we're Manchester United players and American. Like, Manchester United, once we get back to the Premier League, but for now, it's all U.S. Come on, boys. Let's, let's play. We're pulling for you. And, you know, like, we'll defend you against your own commentators if we have to. We'll be willing to throw mud at them. <laughs> because, let's face it, they, they didn't, they were about as quality as the referee. So... We'll let them know for you as the fans. We're pulling for you, U.S. guys. Um, what else did we think of the game today? You know, like, we lost our rhythm. We lost in the second half. Um, Not enough direct shots. The serve, it, the, maybe the set pieces. Yeah, set pieces were, they, they were kind of a letdown. For how much it looks like they wanted to get those crosses, they couldn't produce on them. How about the service being supplied? Was not. Wasn't great. Wasn't great. I think like, Pulisic took most of them. Did, didn't he take all of them? I don't know. I didn't think they were his qualities he's capable of. Yeah. Well, he probably. His legs were probably hurting. <laughs> <laughs> getting kicked every, every time he touched the ball, <laughs> that's why he couldn't serve a ball. Poor guy. Like, he got kicked. Yeah. Every, and the referee didn't protect him at all. No. And, like, they didn't get yellow cards, like, after the same type of fouls committed. So. Yes. And the referee's from Qatar. <laughs> they hate us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they hate Americans anyway. <laughs> I'm sure. Anyway, so hey, I'm Ruben the Crazy Soccer Dad. This is Joseph. We're going to have him. We're going to be doing some reviews, some share our thoughts on the World Cup as we have games. And plus, we do soccer all the time because it's what we love. Um, and then we'll, hopefully, we'll be able to have a reaction on Friday. Yeah. Big game. Big game, England versus United States.
You know, like, who are some of the players you think we have to watch out for against England? Oh, Rashford all the day. Rashford? Anybody else? Rashford, all the fat, they're fast players. Jack Relish. Dude, I could go on and on. Harry Kane. Um, Phil Foden. I'm, I'm all not... of them. Like, I'm, I specific, er, specifically say Rashford because he could definitely catch the United States counter on an attack very well, easily. Yeah, I'll be interesting to see what lineup they come out with against the United States. Oh, yeah. Like, Gareth Southgate. Oh, and Harry McGuire again. Harry McGuire got an assist. <laughs> Harry McGuire. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could technically get on Harry McGuire for giving up the first goal. He had the England ball. Today. I think he was out of position. I didn't yeah. really. I only saw the highlights. I didn't oh, see soccer. him. That's my player. He, he, he scored off that volley today. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's a. It's a little nerve wracking for who we're playing on. How many attackers does an England have? They're stacked. Yeah, but they're too English. Like, how if England hates them? We don't even know why. As Americans, we don't understand it. Like, they're just too English. Like, they, whatever. I'm willing to throw Stu Holden under a bus because, like, he's American. He's American and he didn't want to say much positive about us. You wanted to talk about how wonderful Gareth Bale is. Like, okay, have you been paying attention to Gareth Bale for the last five years? Where have you been, Stu? Yeah, I'm calling you out. I'm just a stupid, crazy dad over here who's willing to support the U.S. Where are you at, man? <laughs> In case you can't tell, I don't, I don't really like Stu Holden. Okay. He can't tell. We were making fun of you a lot, Stu Holden, <laughs> because every other sentence out of you was about how special Gareth Bale is. Did you mention any of our U.S. boys? Once, once, I remember once. Once. Come on. One of our boys, his dad is the president of a country. Did you mention anything special about that? No. Come on. Where are you at? I think they mentioned it once. His dad she, or tweeted out on Twitter immediately. Did he? He's like, my son scored a goal against you, Wales. Yeah. How else was that? Like, his boy scored. Oh, man, I bet that's one proud dad right there. I respect that. That's awesome. Yeah. Two sons play soccer. His other son. His other son. Um, I don't even know. Uh, George, George Wea Jr. Oh, Jr. Yeah. Who knew? I didn't know that. <laughs> so I keep him around because I don't have time to remember all this stuff. So he has to remember for me. But anyhow, I think that's enough for our quick little crazy recap. Soccer crazy dad. soccer dad recap. Yeah. 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 So let's recap what we think. One, U.S. needs to have more direct shots. Yes. Better quality crosses and free kick balls. Yeah. Stu Holden can suck it. Um, the referee was not good. No, no. And England on Friday. I think that's our recap. Yeah. England's probably going to be the toughest one over here. Honestly. Iran, 6 nil. Yeah. Or 6 2. Hey. We should look up who the commentators are going to be on Friday. Because maybe they're going to tell us about how special the other team is. Like, hey, I'm, I'm a U.S. fan here. I'm watching the game in the U.S. I'd like to at least hear you be positive for our boys who are over there. Like, you want to tell us about how special somebody is? Like, come on. Get out of here. Yeah. Maybe talk about United States boys. Yeah. 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 Well, I think this guy didn't. I don't care. Stu Holden can suck. He played one game. <laughs> he, he really pissed me off today. I don't like that one. <laughs> That's probably why I don't listen to him too often. So next time I listen to him, though, I'm going to just listen to him because now I want to not like him. Yeah. I'll probably commentate at least four more games for the U.S. We're going we're gonna to beat this. We're getting through. We're going to beat. We got a tie. That's one so, point. Well, that's one point. You know, England's sitting on top with three. Yeah. No, it's sitting on top with four. Four. Well, they have th three, three points. Three but points. Like four goal differential. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm talking about points. Three points. Yeah. We've got a point. Wales has got a point. It's going to come down to... Wales has... Who can have a better game against England? Yeah. If Wales hopefully gets slaughtered by England, and we can pull off... A one nail. A like, if we could get the, the win. Or even, like, a 1-0 loss would be okay. 
Yeah, but then you have two. That's not enough points to get you through. Then yeah. You have to beat Iran, right? Yeah. So we have to go to this next game. Winning. And we've got to get a result. Yeah. You know, like win or tie. There's no. We can't afford to lose. No. Because yeah. that would give us one point going into the game with Iran, and then Wales is going in with England, and then all in, all Wales has to do is park the bus. And then we've got to pray England breaks them down. Mm-hmm. We know Harry Maguire is going to make a mistake and give up a goal. Yeah, because... Did you quit taking apart my desk, homie? Dude, man, he's just taking apart my desk. Stop. <laughs> he picked up the sound, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It'll annoy the people listening. Okay? <laughs> I'm annoyed. Like, come on. You know, I'm going to put you on the Stu Holden train, man. All right. Simply well, both around. No. Anyway, so, all right. That's our crazy soccer dad review. That's our crazy soccer dad review. I'm Ruben. This is Joseph. We'll see you on Friday. Bye.